Hello, Lab Dave here, David Comprator, technology development scientist at uh, Lumetrics, here in the lab measuring up some uh, architectural glass. So, using the OG2, we can see some uh, lovely internal structure. Let me zoom in and uh, we can talk about it briefly. We've got uh, three different layers uh, indicated by these four peaks, and it's great. We could use this information to decide whether or not this these layers were formed correctly and uh, are suitable for the product that is being shipped. Wonderful. But there is a problem. But before I get into what the problem is, I just want to make sure that that whiteboard Dave isn't hanging around too close. Because I think we can get done with this without him showing up. Okay. Okay. So what, so what is the problem? Uh, you may have noticed it in the original unzoomed, which I just did there, unzoomed uh, screen. Uh, where is that first peak? You're like, where is the top of the glass? That can't be seen. Why is that? Well, the OG2 has a limited stretch. It has a limited range of thicknesses that it can measure. And, and about 12 millimeters for most normal glasses is, is what you can expect. Uh, and the top glass here is a little thicker than 12 millimeters, so we're not seeing that. But are we out of luck? Do we have to scan through it and keep track of you know where things are and add things together? Mm, you could do that, but you don't have to. So we, we have something called the EMS. It's the Extended Measurement System. It allows us to measure over a much longer range. And uh, you may have noticed that I have two probes over here. Well, one of those probes is the OG2 and the other one is the EMS. So let, let me go ahead and uh, show you the OGS screen. Uh, let me grab this camera. There we go. So there's that in same internal structure that we saw with the OG2 uh, measured with the same fidelity. Uh, then zoom back and over and there's that peak. So no problem. We're picking up the the top peak, uh, all that glass, then to the internal structure, through the bottom glass, and there's even the bottom peak. So we're seeing the full sandwich with the EMS here. And that is uh, a great uh, advantage to having that extended stretch. You don't have to worry about uh, not seeing the entire structure all at once. Uh, and it can come in handy. It can come in handy for other reasons, right? I mean, anything that's too thick to measure with the OG2, you can do it up to, uh, I believe, 35 millimeters uh, with the uh, EMS. It may even go uh, more than that. But uh, like, like here, for example, is a hello, is a uh, syringe. So this is a syringe tube. I would not want to get a shot from this syringe, but. In any case, this is a syringe tube, and it is way too thick for the uh, OG2 to measure, but it would be no problem checking the ID and OD all at once on the EMS. Okay, so I have to reconfigure to uh, show you the cylinder of the syringe. I have it in this uh, V-groove here, holding it in place. Uh, the probe comes in from the top, goes through the bottom, uh, that way you can get the ID and the OD. If you look at the screen, I've got the, the first peak defines the top. The last peak defines the bottom, uh, and that'll give you the OD. And then the two internal peaks gives you the ID. And you see got, we've got about uh, 34.6 uh, millimeters in ID and about 36.7 in the OD. So that's... Uh, a pretty good size that can be measured uh, underneath the uh, probe here and uh, I'll go back to the other configuration now so there you have it a quick uh, introduction to the EMS pretty much the uh, OG2 on steroids a little extra stretch uh, those that uh, can benefit from it should be able to appreciate it hope you uh, enjoyed the video this is lab dave signing off for now and hope to see you at the next video